I just wanted to make a quick little video blurb about why I uh, recorded that song, Alex Jones Rants, as a indie folk song. So, uh, it's not my song for those of you who don't know. It's the lyrics from the song are actual rants that Alex Jones has done. And then the chords, um, I was kind of transposing the chords from the version that I heard that Super Deluxe, this outfit, did. I don't know who Super Deluxe is. I've heard that they're owned by Time Warner. So what caught my interest in it was I noticed that uh, Super Deluxe released it on the 14th and that uh, it had half a million views in two days. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Another thing that I noticed... Uh, right away was that Alex Jones himself was promoting it. So I thought, well, that's interesting. Alex Jones is promoting a Time Warner-owned company releasing a song that's supposed to be making fun of him and calling it an indie folk song? You know, neither of these outfits, neither of these organizations are indie. Like, you can say that InfoWars, Prison Planet is independent, but I mean, the level that they're at now, it's like you have the mainstream media and the alternative media. The real news and the fake news. You have the left wing and the right wing. So, I mean, you can look at it as two birds of the same feather or different wings on the same bird. Alternate news and mainstream news. I mean, to me... I'm not an American, so don't get me started on politics, but anyway, as an observer who has been playing music since he was four, and I'm not signed to any label, I release my own music through adamjosh.com, and I have a YouTube channel um, under Mr. Adam Josh, and I have a few different YouTube channels, but I was just, I'm looking at this situation like, well... I, I know that they're making fun of Alex Jones, or they think they're making fun of him. But I'm looking at, at I'm looking at it like this is an opportunity for me to just cover this song and record it, and basically get free promotion because I understand from an independent uh, musician point of view and a former business manager, I understand that all promotion in one way or another has to be paid for. So if somebody is guaranteeing you free promotion, free promotion, I mean, it's an opportunity, right? So take it. So I looked at it as like, I am an actual independent artist. Like I'm not signed to a label. Everything I've ever done, I've had to pay for myself. I pay for my own website. I pay for my own recordings. So like, that's all coming. Nobody's like granting me money. Nobody's like, I'm not on a small Canadian label that forwards me a bank loan. And then I go spend it on hookers and cocaine. Uh, I'm not you know, cheating on my wife in hotel rooms while they tour. Like I'm, I'm literally paying for everything myself, which is why I have to work a job and why I am not successful at music. I'm not, and also because I'm not talented, I guess. Right? I'm not a very talented musician. Regardless, anyway, that's why I did it, and um, I just looked at it as an opportunity to get free promotion. So. Um, outside of that, I thought it was funny. Have a great day.